Let's set the intention for this practice today. May this practice bring us boost of magic in our lives. Help us to be mindful today and be a happy person. And you can add any intention from yourself. And during the practice, remember it. And continue your breath, still with closed eyes. Bring focus on your chest zone. So when you do inhale, air goes till the chest. And exhale back to the nose. Relaxing your breath, observing your body, feeling your heartbeat. And then refocus yourself a little bit deeper till the belly. So now when you do inhale, air goes till the belly. And exhale back to the nose. And we breathe without force, without any pressure, just natural breath. Relax your hips on lower part of your back and a couple of breaths more. And then slowly, slowly start to relieve, to open the eyes, bring yourself back on the mat. And we will continue with the, with the yogic breath today. So, you want to be focused now on the belly zone. Bring the hands on the belly zone. And we do deep inhale and deep exhale, bringing everything to the belly now. So you start to do inhale, feeling how your belly is growing full of air at the end and then exhale till the end you continue in your own tempo five seven times really focusing on the belly zone and then bring the hands on the rib zone Hug yourself from the sides and now focusing on the chest zone, we do the same. So when you do deep inhale, you expand, extend the capacity of your lungs in the middle zone, bringing oxygen to your lungs, to the middle zone of your lungs. Yeah? So we do inhale, focusing on the chest and exhale again, squeezing, pushing away whole air. And a couple of breaths more here, focusing still only, only on the chest zone. Good, then relief, bring the hands behind your neck. If it's too intensive, then on the zone of your shoulders, open the elbows on the side. So we want already naturally to um, expand this zone of your shoulders and top 
of your lungs and now focusing only on the shoulders you start to do deep inhale reaching out as high as you can here and exhale squeezing the air till the end and then again inhale bringing everything to the top of your shoulder and usually there is a uh, unseen line on this top when you can a little bit do more a little bit to reach out higher and to add a little bit more oxygen to that zone so idea of yogic breath it's really to expand the capacity of our lungs uh, you want to do till the maximum of your abilities here mm -hmm. A couple of breaths more. And then relief. And now in just calm mode, not really thinking to expand uh, or to press or push on your body something. You want just to connect all these three steps. So you start to do a nice inhale, starting from the belly and you observe how it moves to the chest and shoulders. And exhale from the shoulders, chest and belly. Like rolling the air up and down, up and down. And just observing the breath and feeling that actually when you breathe deeply or calm, the air starts from the belly zone. The breath starts there. If you feel like you can always move with the body a little bit, helping yourself, and just sit in static. Good. And when you feel ready, you start slowly again, bringing yourself back, opening the eyes and preparing yourself for further physical work. So we actually stay in, in the same sitting position, warming up our neck zone first, doing just nice rotations here. From any side, we will just change the side in a bit and just roll and check in all connective tissues with your neck, how shoulders feel, how's your spine, then change direction. Then interlock the fingers, bring it behind the head, close the elbows and softly start to bring your elbows and arms a little bit lower, just natural weight of your arms. So not really forcing here. And just staying a bit longer, feeling how stretch goes deeper to your spine. And then softly relief. Bring your arm behind your back if you can uh, hug yourself and to bring it on the hip zone. Sophia probably closing me. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you fix this position, you start slowly, slowly uh, look to the opposite side and behind you. So you will feel the shoulder and neck stretch from the side of your back arm now holding breathing a little bit more maybe you move a little bit deeper into the twist here good slowly slowly relief after twisting positions we want to come back slowly and we change the arm so again behind your back or maybe deeper on the hip yeah? 
checking how do you feel and then moving into the twist looking behind you and maybe on the side if you feel already that it's enough stretch Sophia wants to talk hey, talkative dog breathe and hold in a bit more Good, and then slowly relief, both arms lifting up, reaching out to the sky, holding, breathing, couple of more here, breath, lengthening the spine. And then exhale, moving into the twist, focusing on your back shoulder, holding, breathing. Just a couple of breaths here. We are going to repeat this move several times and then again inhale, reaching out with the arms to the sky and exhale, moving into the twist on another side, opening your back shoulder, holding, breathing and again inhale up, exhale, twist, inhale up, Exhale, twist. And the last one, circle, inhale, up. Exhale, twist. The first side. Inhale, up. Moving into the twist on the second side. Good. Relief and bring yourself with your back laying completely on your mat. You might need the belt now, so grab it if you feel like. <laughs> so, uh, straight your legs and I start from the right side, so I bring the belt on my feet and start to straight my right leg, feeling the hamstring stretch. If you feel that it's intensive for you for the morning, you can always bend the opposite left for me will be knee. Or if you feel that you can go actually deeper, then you can grab your feet without the belt holding here. But I prefer, for example, to be gentle with my hamstrings in the mornings and they're pretty stiff. We are going to stay a little bit longer here to hold, breathe. For more intensity, first you can open both legs into the straight lines. <laughs> Couple of breaths here more. Good. And now we start to do a small circle with the hips and leg and opening our leg on this side. If Sophia let me to reach the ground, no? Okay. Doesn't matter how deep you go, you want to keep your body and balancing leg in the same straight alignment. And again, for more intensity, if you feel like, you can grab your feet and bring it on the side without the belt up to you and a couple of breaths more here Good, slow little relief, bring the knee to the chest, press down, hold a couple of moments here And then we're changing the sides. So belt on the second feet, holding, breathe and checking. How do you feel on this side? Maybe again, if it's intense, if you're bending the knee of the second leg, maybe not. For more intensity, you can always control with the belt your legs, so if you need more, you can pull on you and just stay in how you are a couple of moments more. Sophia, go to the basket, go to the basket, we are friends, yes. <laughs> 
And then very important move you want to do by circle your leg. So from inner side, I start to do circle move. So I want to open my hip pockets like this. And then slowly, slowly, yes, I start to bring on the side. And again, if you know that you're pretty good with this open and you can also do the same, just bending the knee first and then opening your leg on the side. The most important to keep your central alignment here of the spine and basic leg that's staying yeah, in the same alignment here. So you can always press down through the basic uh, leg for me, it's the right one that's staying with the spine in one line. Holding breathing a couple of breaths more. Good, then bend the knee, bring to the chest, hold a couple of moments here, still. A relief, we turn around to the tabletop position, check your hips under the knees and moving into the puppy pose. So straight arms, smooth move in front of you and bring in your chest all the way down to your mat. Holding breath in here, opening shoulders, opening our spine. And now you can bend the elbows and bring the hands behind your neck for more intensity in your triceps. Holding a little bit more here, a couple of breaths. And then you softly release and bring yourself into the plank position. So tug your toes, belly in, your wrists exactly under the shoulders, nice diagonal line of your body straight line, belly in, hold, hold, hold. You can bring the concentration also on the belly zone. Visualize the yellow color in that zone. Our third chakra placement, our self-esteem, self-love, self-confidence. Couple of breaths. Good. And then lifting up the hips and moving to the first down doggy. And we start from the bicycle, left and right feet doing bicycle. If you have a wish, you can join the hips more into the smooth. So like continue the move of the feet higher with the hamstrings, legs and moving a bit also from side to side with the hips. And then open your feet on the sides of the mat, start to press down through the heels. If it's more intensive, then bend the knees and hold here. Five deep breaths down, facing dog position. Bring in focus on your spine, on the zone between your shoulder blades, on the top of your back. Keeping the arms straight. And then look up, step forward with both feet and start to lift up torso, straight the legs, arms above the head and then in front of the heart, Namaste Tihi. And we move to the modification of Surya Namaskara uh, Serie B, so sun salutation second version. <laughs> so close your feet, close your knees, preparation for Utkatasana and then touch the ground and move to imaginary chair behind you. Check your um, back, belly in. So we want, do not curve the spine here, but bring it in natural straight line, straight position, holding breath in here. Arms on the level of your ears. 
and then the hands in front of the heart and you bring yourself from the hip belly on your legs lengthening the spine and from here we start to straight 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 the legs standing folding down so relax your spine for a moment and then look up length the spine exhale stepping back chaturanga dandasana elbows close to the body inhale little ohio cobra exhale relief moving to the down facing dog position five deep breaths concentration on the top of your back then look up step forward with the right feet between your hands bring a left knee on the ground touch the ground with the hands and open yourself to the sky couple of breaths then hands on the ground tuck the back feet step and into the chaturanga dandasana inhale cobra exhale relief tuck the toes down facing dog position five deep breaths then look up step forward with the left feet between the hands right knee on the ground touch the ground with the arms hands lifting up to the sky good moving into chaturanga dandasana again tuck the back feet bring yourself to the plank chaturanga dandasana inhale cobra exhale relief tuck the toes down facing dog position five deep breath and then look up bend the knees and jump forward between your hands softly bringing yourself to the straight line straight 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 the legs hands above the head namaste to him and right from here again close your feet close your knees if they're not so close now touch the ground and utkatasana chair pose sit back hold breath then hands in front of the heart and we move into the twist here so you want to grab with the elbow behind opposite side and pressing away bringing hands maximum in front of your heart in the middle zone of your chest couple of breaths here and then maybe opening your hands touching with the hand the ground opening your arms into the straight line maybe not then bring hands back and softly relieve the pose bringing yourself to the straight alignment again touch the ground and sit on the imaginary chair couple of breaths here hands in front of the heart and we're moving into the twist on another side so grabbing with the elbow and pressing away feeling our center line maybe opening the arms into the straight line for more intensity here then closing the hands relief central line and start to straight the legs here standing folding down couple of breaths and you can do some rotations in the neck zone 
maybe still some stiffness of the sleep in there. Just relaxing the spine, feeling soft hamstring stretch. And then look up, step forward with the right leg, bring in knee, hold the way down on the ground. So we are standing low lunge here. Hands above the knee, couple of breaths here. Relax the hips on, so let them to sink down for deeper stretch. And then you start to bring the same side, so the same hand that your back leg, you bring it on the zone of the knee, if you can reach that zone, or maybe stand on the hip and looking behind you, move into, into the soft twist here. You can bring, for me it will be left arm from the inner side. Holding, breathing, looking back. Then bring yourself again with the torso to the straight alignment. Couple of breaths, touch the ground, reach out to the sky. Then the hands behind your back, roll the shoulders and with the hands hold the way down, you start to open your shoulders, chest here, looking at the ceiling. Couple of breaths more. Good. Relief. And now supportive arms staying above the front knee. We want to bend the back leg and grab the shit. If it's intensive for you and you're struggling, you can use the strap for this pose. So you will use the belt to grab the feet and you will hold on the distance. If no problems, then you grab the feet and stay in any comfortable stretching position here. So for more intensity, you always bring your feet closer to the buttocks, to the sitting bones. Yeah? Like closing, bending the elbow, and holding like this for more deeper quad stretch. Good. Then softly relieving. Hands on the ground. Tuck the back feet. Stepping back into the plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Little or high cobra. Elbows close to the body. Exhale. Relief. Tuck the toes. Down facing dog position, five deep breaths. You can do some rotations with your neck again here if you feel that you need it. Then look up, step forward with both feet and stay here in folding down. Grab the elbows if you have a wish for this, or supportive hands on the ground still. Breathe in a couple of moments more. Then hands on the ground, we are stepping back. For me, it will be the left leg, knee on the ground. So again, low lunge, we change the side and we will do the same sequence on this side. Hands above the knee, holding, breathing, relaxing the hip zone. Just preparation for further stretches. Good, and then we move into the soft twist. So a smooth move with the hand, maybe on the level of the knee, maybe it's too deep, so you're staying somewhere in the hip zone. Bring in your, for me it will be the right arm from inner side, and you look behind you, so moving a little bit deeper into the twist here. Holding, breathing. Then bring yourself back. Touch the ground, open with the arms, hands to the sky couple of breaths and then hands move behind your back 
roll the shoulders and the move again with the hands you bring in as low as you can maybe lower than your buttocks opening at the same time your shoulders and chest looking at the ceiling always do this move slow because can be challenging for the balance Good, relief, and we move into the more intensive twist, so you're looking behind you, holding breath in a couple of moments here. And then we want to work with the quad stretch here. So you start to bend the knee, grab the feet, couple of breaths, Checking how do you feel on this side. And if it feels okay, maybe bring it closer to the body. So for this, you need just to bend the elbow and direction of the elbow to the sky. Hold in prison. Softly relief. Hands on the ground, stepping back, plank position. Couple of breaths, belly in. Good, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, relief, tuck the toes, down facing dog position. Five deep breaths here. Getting relief for the lower part of the back if you had it from the low lunge, if you have any sensations. For more intensity, you can bring the head deeper to the ground, opening more shoulders here. Good, then look up and bring yourself back to the plank position. And we move into the pigeon poses here. So I start from the right side, so right knee to the right arm, flex the feet on this side and the left side, and I crawl with my back leg behind me. Check in how do you feel here? And you can always stay here for maybe supportive blocks here. And if it feels okay, you want intensity from the hip, belly, chest, hold the weight down, lean, enjoying the stretch. And now you leave your legs in the same position. You start to straight the arms only here. And we want again to grab our back feet. Preparation for a mermaid position. Couple of modifications here. You might need the belt also for this pose. You will figure out now. <laughs> so you start to bend the knee. You're grabbing the feet. Yeah. So if this move is intensive for you, then use the belts. You can create really big distance here. It just starts from somewhere. Feeling the quad stretch. If you can grab the feet, you simply stay in here and feeling where is the zone of nice sensation for you. So if you want to go deeper, you can again hug your feet from inner side, bring the elbow to the sky. So you open and rotate your elbow to the sky and then bring the feet closer to the buttocks. Yeah? So you can stay here. Or one more modification when you bring the feet in the zone of your elbow. So preparation for mermaid pose. Well, actually it is. It's just the matter of the hands, arms already placement. And a couple of breaths here. Because for the balance we do today dancer pose, we want to stretch out our quads. Good. Softly relief. And we change the side. So hands on the ground, stepping back into the plank position. 
belly in and moving into the pigeon pose on another side. For me, it will be the left side. Crawling with the back leg and maybe moving deeper. Hold the weight down with the hip, belly, chest to the ground. Relax in the zone of the stretch. And nicely, deeply breathe in here. And if you feel that you're still squeezing the muscles in the zone of the stretch, relax them again and again. Let's stretch and to go deeper to your ligaments. Good, and then softly stand with the same alignment of our legs, straight the arms. Bend the knee and grab the back feet, staying in any modification here that is comfortable for you. Holding, breathing, quad stretch. Couple of breaths more. Good. Softly relief. Really soft. Don't drop your leg <laughs> fast and with the power. Tag the back feet. Bring yourself back to the plank position. And right from here to the down facing dog pose for a moment. You can do bicycle now here. A bit relieving our stretches from the hips that we did. Then look up and bend the knees, jump between the hands, bringing yourself softly into the straight line, torso, legs, hold the way up. Okay, so let's move into the dancer pose. You want to bring your knee as high as you can to the chest. So grab the zone of your knee, keep your spine straight and the direction here at the base feet like pressing down to the ground so the energy and force to the ground. You opening your back, shoulders, chest, holding breath in here a couple of moments. And then slowly, if you can do without belt, you do without belt. If you might feel that it's still intensive for your quads, you will do dancer pose with the belt. So first we want to grab the feet and bring our knees in the same line. So your leg that you are working with now, it shouldn't be like this. Yeah, so knee should be in the same straight line of your basic leg. Couple of breaths here. And then like a scale, you're reaching out your opposite arm and moving to the front, checking the balance. We don't want to open knee on the side. We want to move just straight, straight, straight. Yeah. And when you feel stability, and then you reach your level, you can lift up the knee higher and holding dance pose like this. And play around with the hand so you can grab your feet from outside. For deeper stretch, you can grab from inner side. And when you move, you can control from the inner side when you hold more your knee zone also. Yeah? And you can lift up your knee high also here. A couple of moments. Good. And then softly relief. No need to lift up as high as you can now because it's still the morning. Yeah. And we change the sides. So first preparation, we want to grab the zone of our knee, pressing down through the 
opposite feet to the ground, feeling the base, holding breathing, straight arms, spine, shoulders, feeling secure here and stability. Then moving into the first modification of dancer pose. Nice line of your legs and maybe moving deeper. If you have a wish, you can just stay here. And if, if you feel already that it's intensive, quad stretch here. Reaching out the arm and moving slowly, slowly, slowly. Like a scale. And then lifting up, pressing away the knee higher and higher. And feeling the balance. <laughs> Maybe losing the balance. <laughs> Couple of moments more. Good job. Relief. And we land up, I would say, today with the pose mini grasshopper. I will show two types, two approaches how you can do it from the top and from the bottom. So start to bend the knees, bring yourself deeper, closer to the ground. Right, oh. I work with my left leg, so I'm bringing my left hand on the ground. From here, I'm grabbing the feet of my back leg and start to bring my sitting bones, hips, Hold the way lower and lower, at the same time straightening the leg, holding breath. If it's not working from the top, you just start from sitting position. You cross the legs. So one cross over another one. And you practically do the same. So you grab the feet that is in front of you, start to bring it on the side. And then lifting up a little bit upper your sitting bones. You do the same from the bottom. So you lift up using your supportive hand arm. And we change the side. So yeah. cross the legs, bring supportive hand on the ground, start to bend the knees, grab the feet and moving down holding breathing here good maybe you did it from the bottom yeah the same principle straight leg one crossover you grab the feet support your hand on the ground and from here you start to change alignment of your hips lifting up them and moving a leg on the side. It's balancing position for the arms and the top of your body. And after we just bring ourselves on the ground. Heels closer to the body, moving to the bridge position. Lift up the hips. Hold in breathing. Couple of moments more. Then one leg bridge pose, so you start to straight one leg, staying on the basic one. Holding a couple of moments here. Good. Relief and change the sides. So you start to straight. Then another one. Good. Relief. Knees close to the chest. Holding a couple of breaths here. Then opening yourself for the child or child position for the happy baby pose. So you're opening your knees on the sides, grabbing the big toes or your feet 
and pressing down a little bit. Stay in here holding. And the checking point here that your shin almost like 90 degrees towards your hips. And still holding your feet, you start to straight the legs right in the air. So reverse folding down right in the air. And up to you. Maybe again you like more to grab your big toes or holding the feet. Drop your shoulders down. So you want to relax here. Your top of the back and shoulders. Hold in breath in a couple of moments. Good. Now cross the feet, grab the feet, and up to you what kind of stretch you want intensity. If you want less stretch, we are going to do shoelace pose. You bring, you bend the knees and bring your feet on the zone of your hips. If you want more intensity, then you bring your feet as high as you can to the chest position. Then it will be also more relief for the lower part of the back. And it's kind of like double pigeon pose in the air. The same group of muscles we are stretching. And holding, breathing. And then softly start to relieve completely your legs. Straight them and prepare yourself for Shavasana. Any comfortable laying position. If you like sitting, you can also do sitting pose. Opening the hands to the sky. Relaxing your body. Relieve everything. Relax your face. And when you feel after the first wave of relaxation that you relaxed, relax yourself even more. Go even deeper. And then start slowly, come back, moving your hands, feet, you can stretch out the body and then bring yourself back to any comfortable seating position. Bring the hands in front of your heart for clean loving intentions. Thank you for joining. Namaste.